I want to show you my area here where I cook in my indoor kitchen. Okay. Indoor kitchen, I have this little thing that I bought from Ikea, which is not very expensive, but it's to put um, plates and stuff in. I mean, it's, you know, when you're when it's you're drying to drying rack. So I have a double sink and I use a smaller one for washing and the bigger one for drying, my, for keeping my stuff dry and draining. So what I have is this um, mat from the dollar store and I keep it in here because that way, you know, I don't get um, dishes breaking. So I put this in here and I still have enough space for like the other bigger things here, cups or whatever. And then I have a, a brush here if I have to scrub something. And I like this because it's silverware tray is removable. So if I don't have a lot of silverware, I could take it out and I have more space. See, that's why I like that. It's got holes and then it goes in there. So that I really, really love. And I love that it's dark so it doesn't look moldy. Some of these things get moldy. Then I have this bathroom um, soap dispenser. I fill it in at home. I keep my soap there. And when I travel, I move this stuff out. This little plant is museum putty, but that's only because I'm not full timing. If I was full timing, I'd have real plants in the in the RV, but I have fake ones just to make it look pretty. And then I have this little easel here for my iPad. I bought at the Dollar Tree. I put my iPad here when I'm cooking because most of my recipes are in my iPad. I don't travel with cookbooks, so if I have a cookbook that has a, a recipe that I like, I transfer it to my iPad. Cat has to eat here or on the bunk because if not the dog will eat her food and at night I keep a night light here see these little night lights are from the Dollar Tree which I love if I'm hooked up to electric I keep these on so it's not dark in the RV at night and because it's on the way see this is my bedroom there so on the way to the bathroom I have a light and this I is what I use to make my coffee instead of having a, a kettle for heat for boiling water that's electric I use this is because I can use this for cooking and then I have a tea kettle. I can boil water for coffee or for tea. So this is this is pretty much a little bit bigger than the, than the electric tea kettle, but I get multi-purpose out of this. And I also have another one of these in my outdoor kitchen. And what I use is I use the Milani coffee press from um, a TJ Maxx. Marshalls also has them, and they have a bigger size of this. What you do is you put the coffee grounds in here. It's a coffee press, but it's stainless steel and it's therm. And you pour your boiling water and then you just let it sit for a while. And then you pull it down and then you pour it in here so the grounds don't go in there. So the reason I like this is because this one is stainless steel and it's thermal. So it's while it's soaking the grounds, the ground coffee, it's also keeping it warm because it is, um, it's nice and hot. See, it's still nice and hot in there. And it's easy to clean and if you need a bigger one they do have the bigger size you can probably keep your coffee warm for maybe an hour after you you do your first pouring and i could use that right now it's nice and hot so i had to fry an egg or scramble an egg or cook something it's already hot so i can use that so that's why i get multi-purpose out of these two tools in the morning and not wasting energy going and getting a cold element now this is already nice and warm what i do is i set out my this big cutting board that i don't cut on but i, I do set it because i don't have the piece for here that my RV didn't come with that so I do set this out then I put out this little coffee bar that I have so I can um, just I it's an old shoe box and I bring it out and then I have my sugar and then I have um, coffee here and then I have uh, my powdered milk here and what I do is when I'm done like I'm done now with this coffee bar I just bring it and I put it in here I have an old dish pan in here in case I have to boondock and wash dishes or something this stays here is museum putty so I don't have to move it but I keep my paper napkins in here. And I don't buy paper napkins. When I go to whatever fast food place that we go to, I always grab a couple and I always keep them in here. So I don't have to spend money on that. And then I keep all, I don't have any drawers in my RV. And I think drawers take up a lot of space that is really unneeded. So what I bought is this um, divided container. What I keep in here is all my silverware here on this side. And then I keep like my big, like my bread knife here. And you know, my knife sharpener here my spoons my baking stuff i keep a, i keep a pair of kitchen scissors here and with this i don't need any drawers with this so this goes here this i got at walmart and you can use a can and paint a can this was what a I pinterest like. idea that i've been doing this for a long time because what i do is i buy the little packages of badia spices in the store see and the Spanish, you have to go to the Spanish section. And not every Walmart has that. But it ha it's not going to be where the regular spices. And you could check there. But most likely, it's at the Hispanic section of the store. And then I have this from the Dollar Tree that I have um, put up here. 
and what I do is I uh, see with the little label maker that I have I put I put the spices here and then I just have enough for my trips I don't need a lot of spices a lot of the stuff like I don't use a mustard a lot and the five spice you know I I use that sometimes when I do Chinese food and stuff like that so then I have this so this one has all the spices that I normally use and then I also keep some down in the outdoor kitchen and then I keep my coarse salt in here for, for cooking and I, I, of course I bring my cinnamon with me because who doesn't love that and then I use I use cumin pretty much for everything because I love cumin and ground cumin and then I love this I also keep a chalkboard here in my RV right bit where the bunk house is because in here is where I do for the menu for the day. I write everything my here. My oven is not empty. I don't use my oven a lot because I don't do a lot of baking. I have a little electric oven. I do keep all my cutting boards in here. This is where I store them when I'm not when I'm not baking. I do use the oven. I do take all the cutting boards and um, pots and stuff out and just leave it in the outdoor kitchen while I'm baking. This cabinet this is where I keep all my food that we use on a regular basis. So if you see, I have um, organizers back there for cans and stuff. And then I keep my dog and cat food here and my, my, uh, my coffee bar here. And pretty much anything else goes in this, this dinette. If we have like bags of stuff or whatever, usually everything goes underneath that. And well, I'll do another video when we full time about um, how I store things in cereal bags to put in this cabinet. Because this cabinet is very deep, but it stores a lot of stuff. Um, but I don't keep like bags of rice and stuff like like a big uh, like containers of anything I learned that containers what they do is just steal a lot of space in the RV and cereal bags for me are the things that I use so I'll do a video on that once we start full timing um, and and I'll show you how it's done and how you can save a lot of space in your RV so and then on the other thing that I do too is I also keep a little basket here that I bought at Walmart it's really pretty it's narrow so I keep fruits that we can eat, like uh, apples, and we have some oranges here, and I just keep fruit here for the week that we could just pick and eat. And then I also have my flameless candles. I have flameless candles here, and I have a flameless candle there because I don't, I don't like to turn the lights on in my RV at night. I like my RV to be, um, you know, romantic, and I don't like harsh lighting at night. I like very soft lighting at night. And, um, and I like watching movies and popcorn and things like that. So we'll do videos on some of the other things that we do later on as we start full-timing and going into the summertime when we will begin to full-time. So follow me on my journey. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video like all my other videos. I'm, I'm loving that. And watch a question and I start to prepare for full-timing during the summer because the summer in Florida is very, very hot. It's extreme we just sit around in the house it's kind of like for us the summertime in Florida is like the winter time for you guys that are up north because you have to basically be locked in the house with the heater on in the summertime here we have to be locked in the house with the air conditioning on and I do not like air conditioner I do like it when it's hot but I, I pref much prefer to have the windows open and let fresh air come in and out and just circulate around me but you can't do that in summertime here so we're gonna be taking off this summer and exploring and we'd love to take you on the journey and we'd love for you to um, come with us and there's going to be a lot of things that I am going to be doing and there's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be learning on this road trip so um, subscribe and follow us as we continue on our RVing journey thank you for watching Bye.